Hello and welcome to the Petterscope. I am your host, Steve Petterson. It is Thankful Thursday. Stephanie just joined us. Thanks for joining us, Stephanie. It is Thankful Thursday on the Petterscope. There is so much to be thankful for and grateful for. And we have another day to look around us and count our blessings. We are, of course, talking about keys to being the difference. This is episode number 69, entitled, You. Thanks for joining me. You know, today is a very, very special day and very unique day on the Petterscope. Not that every episode isn't special and unique, but today I have a very, very special guest on the Petterscope. My guest today is, drumroll please, Facebook. That's right. Facebook is joining me live. Hi, Facebook. Facebook is joining me live on the Petterscope. That's right. I'm actually doing a simulcast. I'm actually simultaneously broadcasting on Facebook and Periscope. As a matter of fact, uh, why don't you come along, Facebook? We're going to introduce you. Facebook, there's Periscope. Periscope, there's Facebook. Say hi to each other. Uh, let's play together nicely. Ah, very, very excited to have Facebook with us today. Like I said, if you're looking for a key to being the difference, then look no farther than you, yourself. I can think of no key to being the difference that's more important than you. That's where it all starts. Just think of all of the things that you do. Nobody does them the way that you do. Nobody's ever lived your life before. You are the only you there is. And because no one can do the things that you do the way that you do them, you have the opportunity to bring your A game and to be authentically you in everything that you do. It's your unique characteristics that make the thing that you do so special and interesting. For example, let's say that you're a salesperson, okay? Well, I'd be willing to bet that there are a lot of salespeople that do the exact same thing that you do. Well, what makes it so special when you are the salesperson? It's you. People get to interact with you. Lucky them, right? Maybe you're a customer service representative. Uh, how many customer service representatives are there in this world? A whole bunch, right? But how many are like you? You know, one of the things that I do when, when I need to call up a company, like if I need help or assistance on something, and I make a call to a company and the customer service representative answers the phone and introduces themselves, I always repeat their name. As a matter of fact, I usually write their name down. I, re I repeat it several times during the phone call. But at the beginning, I always repeat their name and I say something like, Hi, Bill. How are you doing today? And then there's usually like this really weird pause because I think I've taken them off guard like they weren't expecting somebody to ask them how their day is or to actually care about them or to even remember their name and the reason I think that is is because they're so used to thinking that they're just doing their job a job that anybody could do and that who they are personally is of no consequence but we know that there's nothing that's farther from the truth. Who you are is amazing. You know, in 1977, Roger Moore starred as a as special agent 007 in the film A Spy Who Loved Me. And the theme song for that movie, sung by Carly Simon, uh, after who I named my daughter Carly, by the way, was Nobody Does It Better. Let's listen to the words of encouragement from that song and picture yourself 
getting your annual review from your boss and they just can't stop praising you. So let's let's imagine the scenario. Well, we've uh, we've gone over all the records and all the reports and nobody does it better. Makes me feel sad for all the rest. Nobody does it half as good as you. Baby, you're the best. And nobody does it better. Though sometimes I wish someone could. Nobody does it quite the way you do. Why'd you have to be so good? Can you imagine getting a review from your boss that sounded like that? Now, the reason they'd be giving you that review is not because, you know, your numbers outperformed everyone else on the team, but because all of the people that called your superiors and called your boss saying, what a pleasure it was working with you personally. They could have worked with anyone, but they were so glad they had the opportunity to work with you. Now, think of all the friends, family, neighbors that are in your life. What would their life be like without you in it? You just got to ask George Bailey from It's a Wonderful Life about that one. It's you, baby. You are the difference. So on every Petroscope, we talk about how is this a key to being the difference? And obviously, I think we've covered that very well. But then we also talk about uh, an action step that you can take. And the action step for today is just to simply tell yourself, I am the difference. Maybe take 60 seconds, close your eyes, take a few deep breaths, and just repeat that a few times and see how that feels. And then the next action step for today is to tell somebody else you are the difference. So guys, thanks so much for joining me on this very special episode, number 69, you of the Petterscope keys to being the difference. Thanks so much to my friends on Facebook for joining and getting sort of a backstage pass on this live broadcast. Hopefully we'll keep doing this. I would love to hear your comments. And of course, all of my previous Petterscope episodes are available on my website at stevepetterson.com. It's stevepetterson.com. Uh, just click on the Petterscopes link. Guys, thanks so much for joining me. Have an awesome day. And remember, you are the difference. Take care.